Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to show you how you can freeze a character in a static mesh pose. And what this might be good for is let's say you were staging a scene and you wanted like to show a bunch of soldiers up on a hill, like in maybe sniper position, but you didn't want to have to deal with all the animation and everything. You just wanted them as a static mesh. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. To use this, I'm using the Animation Starter Pack and I've upgraded it to 5.3 with a UE5 mannequin. And in the description, there's a tutorial that shows how to do that. So if you want to know how I got to this stage with these all these mannequins and assets, watch that video. It only takes a few minutes and then it'll get you, you'll have these animations to use for future projects and things like that. So I'll be back in just a minute. If I hit play, they're not they're not all static meshes some of these guys here are actually the animation but this guy on the end there he's actually a static mesh but you can't tell the difference but i just think this is something that has a lot of potential application so i'll be back in just a minute okay so i'm back and after you watch the tutorial in the description you should have all of these animations available to you in the ue5 character so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and create a new level just to keep things clean here and to start from scratch how this came about was that i was wanting to freeze a character in a certain pose on a moving platform to create the illusion that the character was on this platform and i was trying to film it and i was struggling to figure out well how do i freeze this character in this pose that that's kind of cool and that's how this came about so anyway to do this i'm just going to get a let's see i'm not sure which one i use i'll try to use one i haven't used already prone to reload so anyway we're just gonna these are all animation sequences right so i'm just gonna drag him onto this the ground like that and let's say let me turn off g i want to position like look like i have a bunch of soldiers up on a hill and i've got this guy but he's in animation sequence and if i hit play You'll see he's reloading, right? But let's say I don't want him reloading. I just want him frozen in position because from where the camera will be, no one will be able to see their slight movements anyway. So this would be like off in the distance or something like that. Just kind of this character standing there frozen, actually not as an animation, but as a static mesh. One thing I realized is if we right click, we can go to create and we can create what's called a pose asset. Now we could do that, but when you do this, you're going to see that there's like a million poses to choose from. And I don't want a million poses to choose from. I just want one pose in particular, the one that, like this one's the best one, the one he's in right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click into here, and that's exactly the animation I want, frozen as a stack mesh. So I'm going to go create pose asset, current pose, and that's the pose he's in right there. And I'm just going to put this on the content level. And I'll just call this <laughs> current pose. Okay. And we'll go, okay. Now let me go into the content level here. And here it is. Current pose right here. So we're going to double click into this. And now I have just this one parameter to, that I can animate. I just pull him down into the pose that I want. And from here, I can just go make static mesh. And now I'm just going to call this static mesh pose and go save. Now what's cool about this is this one shouldn't take up a lot of resources. So now if I come into here, I got my static mesh pose. And he's a static mesh now. He's not an animation at all. So then let's say I want to duplicate this. This isn't going to take up a lot of resources. I'll just go Alt, click, drag, Alt, click, drag, Alt, click, drag, Alt, click, drag, like that. Just Alt and create a whole bunch of them. And they're just static meshes, right? So now if I hit play, look, I got this whole thing of these guys, you know? <laughs> he's the only one that's moving yeah so anyway i hope you found this helpful this is basically just how you can freeze a character into a position 
into a certain pose. And I hope you found it helpful.